Hey, today on Rezulu Tech, I'm going to be showing you how to add a free fav icon to your Weebly website. And I'll explain a little bit more in the end how you can get this to work on other website builders as well. But uh, this is predominantly for Weebly. And it's very simple. And if you don't know what a fav icon is, it's this little picture up here that appears, you know, on your browser tab. And I'll show you that, you know, Weebly, if we go to settings, Five icon. I need to upgrade my account from free to pro in order to get a five icon. And you know, I don't want to spend any money. Weebly hosting is pretty good for free, and so I figure uh, I might as well do some simple coding and get all the professional features for absolutely no cost. So all you have to do for this is get a little code, and in the SEO section of your settings, just paste it in here. Now you're going to have to change a part of this. In between the parentheses, you see I have a link. This is the link to my favicon picture, which I uploaded to my Weebly website now. To do that, it's very simple. Go to Design, Edit HTML slash CSS, and this little side panel here, add a new file. Uh, it can be, uh, I found pretty much any file type, you know, PNG to JPEG, and I just had a JPEG file, Arzulu favicon, and it's 66 by 71, so it doesn't need to be very big. It's, you know, preferably something under 100 by 100. You want something that's uh, pretty much square. So upload a fav icon to your website. And when you have it uploaded, you can right click on the image and open image in new tab. Copy the link and on your Weebly website, go back to the code you pasted in your header section. Let's go back here, SEO. You see it's the header code right here. And in between the parentheses, simply paste that link, push save, and you're done. That's all there is to it. When you publish your website, the fav icon should appear. And uh, I'm pretty certain I'm pretty certain this will work for uh, other website builders as well. So long as you upload the image to your website, get the link, put it in between the parentheses, and have the code in your header section. And so uh, I thought this might be helpful for you guys. And you know, if you liked it, thumbs up. You know, share the video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you know, subscribe and check out the playlist. And we'll see you guys next time.